Hey, butterflies. Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on me websites and Patreon. Thank you for your continuous support, my darlings. Um, our Butterfly School of Transformation Semester 5 enrollment is now open. It closes on 10th. I know I had quite a few people asking after it was over um, last semester. Well, when they were trying to get last semester, I'm like, baby, make, be ready when the next semester open. Okay. <laughs> um, but just like in college enrollment, every semester, the price does go up because it's not fair to the members who was there when there was no content, right? So definitely um, go ahead, check it out. Um, I'll be posting some reviews um, from some members. Thank you all to the members who share um, some of your reviews of the space. And yeah, we about to get into this reading. Thank you to everyone who purchased on my team, a candle company. Okay. Published books, all of that jazz. You are appreciated. Hope you enjoy your product. So listen, y'all. I recorded nine minutes of this video <laughs> and my microphone again, my microphone again messed up. I realized that I guess it died. And so I have a backup. And so now I'm on the backup and a lot was said in that reading. And I'm just like, okay, grandmother, you want me to duplicate it or what? Right. Um, but the energy started off with the energy of shame. So I was sharing how, um, as I put on my lip gloss before the reading, I felt bad. Um, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Like I shouldn't be putting on lip gloss or whatever the case is. Right. I was feeling that energy really, really heavy. Um, and it made me think of like your grandmother growing up doing those types of things when you were younger wasn't, wasn't even heard of. What do you mean that you're in, in grade school and you want to put lip gloss on your lips? What do you need that on there for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it's something about as your grandmother got older, some of them went against what was expected of them. Some of them didn't. And if they did, they did it like low key. You know what I'm saying? Um, the energy of Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston was coming up a lot. Um, how they both left a controlling father to be with a man that wasn't all that good either, right? And how sometimes we're running away from something or we think we're running away from something, but we run into something that's difficult or more difficult or harder, right? We had a wow moment during the first pool and I was channeling the NDRE song, Just Be You, Just Do You. Somebody's got to play the part. Somebody's got to be a star. And as I said that the song that came, I mean, the card that came out was the star card, right? I hate y'all can't see that part of the card. <laughs> Everything doesn't have to be seen. Okay, grandmother. <clears throat> you won't always be seen and you won't always be noticed. But as long as you're doing what makes your heart feel good and feel right, you'll keep doing it. Because that's what you feel is right for you, what's best for you. That's this star card, honestly. Oh, I picked up my phone, 555 on December 5th. Let's shuffle the music. Use Your Heart by SWV. <clears throat> Use your heart and not your mind, or not your eyes. Use your heart, not your eyes. It's something about judging something from a different perspective. Judging something from a different perspective. You know, 
um, it makes me think of, you know, I was just talking about Aretha Franklin. A lot of you all's grandmothers loved and respected Aretha Franklin. Although Aretha Franklin had a drinking problem. She didn't, you know, was too drunk at a show and she didn't pay her bills. Like she did a lot of stuff that some people like her, but a lot of people love her. She's one of the most decorated women. I'm not even going to say black woman. She a woman overall, okay, with 18 Grammys. You know, she overcame an abusive relationship, being a parent of two before 14. She worked hard. She released 44 albums, 44 albums. And there's people who can see her from the heart of what she meant on the inside and what may have caused her to become what she was or who she was, you know? But then you have some people who do just use their eyes, you know, and it's giving this energy of watch how we judge people, you know. We're all just our own individual stars in the world, you know, doing our thing, here to do our thing. And this energy, oh, my gosh. Because it's seven stars and then it's stones in the center. And this is cotton wood. Um, seven is a number of intuition. It's a number of intellect, knowledge, information, instinct. When you use your heart, that's more that's more of your your energy, your star energy. Um, a lot of you all I'm hearing emotional authorities, sacral authorities. Um with human design, I don't know which, uh, is that a manifesting generator? I don't know. Some of y'all may need to learn your manifest, I mean, your human design, but this grandmother energy is like, some of you all may have too many memories of the past and that's what's keeping you stuck in the past or stuck on the past expectations of yourself when needing to step out into something deeper, into something bigger, you know. She left home at 18. Some of you all younger. <clears throat> to start a whole life, a family, because at that time, what she knew was that you were meant to have a family, your home taken care of. That's what she knew. That was her generation. That's the too many memories, Johnny Taylor. Too many memories. Mm -hmm. And they're just killing me. Do -do 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 -do. Too many memories. Okay. Too many memories. You have the emperor. This is the energy she wants you to be in. The star card and the emperor. That's main character energy. Emperor's Aries energy. I was just talking about Aretha Franklin. Uh, Aries. Um... This is giving the vibe of be your boss. Some of you all may be healing from a relationship with your father and the expectations that were placed on you from your father with the star card and the emperor. Like you may have been afraid to fully be yourself because of that emperor energy, which can represent a father figure or like a boss, okay? It gives very authoritarian energy, someone who is because I said so, maybe even abusive, abusive. It's like needing to release those memories of your father so that you can fully expand into, baby, now that I just got a dangle notification saying something so similar to what I just said. <laughs> Your father may have been a narcissist because this is a, a video from a channel that speaks on narcissism. Transform your life. 
well, they don't just deal with narcissism too. It's like, you know, more than that, but it's like expansion. It's a mental health, like from a, I don't know, like a, I don't know how to put it, a school perspective, like an informational channel. Some of y'all may need to heal your relationship with your father. And even if he's not alive, like heal it by within self first. And then expand out. But it's something about that relationship that may have affected your ability to be the star that you are. You're a shining star. No matter who we are. Shining bright to see. What you could truly be. <laughs> Let me add this song to the playlist. Um, for those of you all who didn't know, I have a playlist on Apple Music. It's posted down below in the description box for um, all of the songs that I channel during readings. So you can download the playlist. It'll automatically upload or you can add me on Apple Music or you can just, you know, go in, copy the songs as I add them on there and add them to your own playlist on whatever, what's the name you use, okay? Um... This hemlock and cottonwood energy, it's like, I'm here and do what I do, what I do, what I do, when I do it, ah. in the sunshine. Mm. Mm. Sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Okay. Um. Do you, oh my gosh, do you, be you, love on you. When you do what, like your sunshine comes from the inside. This is a message of forgiveness because I'm hearing they didn't know no better. They didn't know no better. They didn't know no better. They was just doing what when people don't know how to process their anger. Things like this happen. When people don't know how to process their anger. There's someone who doesn't know how to process their anger. Someone doesn't know how to process their anger and it passes down generational. I thought I brought them back over here. Okay, I did. I was about to say, I thought I brought them. I know I had moved them to do some personal readings, but. Don't feel shame to do the things that you really want to do. It was put on your heart for a reason. I have a message for you tonight in your dream. I'm hearing, so make sure you clear your schedule. Some of you all have a lot of interrupted sleep or you don't go to sleep in a decent hour to allow yourself to make it to a REM sleep to receive the dream. It's like you need a fool's night's sleep for you to receive the message. I know a lot of you are reported um, having more dreams of your grandmother after finding this space and it, it, it's a lot of generational healing that's going on. It's a lot of generational healing that's going on. And this is something that your grandmother was hoping for, and that's why you feel so connected to it, because you're meant to be a part of that generational healing. I felt loved by you. 
let's do this butterfly effect. Because um, that 555, five, five, when we had picked up the phone and saw the 555, five, five, was like, no, we have to do this. Angel number 555 arrives in your life when your spirit guides want you to gear up for your life to be changed dramatically in a good way. You are being called to take a leap of faith towards something that makes your heart feel free with no limitations. You are destined to be successful. And you know what? That just reminded me of something I was sharing before the sound that started messing up. And it was the song by SWV. Use your heart and not your eyes. Okay. Um, to make more decisions from your heart and not just from your eyes, from a judgmental perspective. And then to hear this say again, something that makes your heart feel free with no limitations. That's this energy of breaking free from all of the expectations that were placed on you, you know? All of them that were placed on you and it wasn't even warranted i think i already added it to the playlist okay it's on there now use your heart by swv um free your mind and watch them fly i haven't heard that song in so long oh my gosh it's amazing how music just comes back to me <laughs> it's like i am a music library i'm i'm accepting it um Use your heart. And that's what's going to get you what it is that you want. You know, a lot of people, they take the leap of faith and then they freeze up or they stop or they don't finish, you know? And it's like, no, you had good energy, you had good advice, you had all of it, but you didn't follow through. This is giving an energy of when you follow your heart. Allow yourself to follow through. Don't allow anything on the outside to come in and get in the way because it will try. It will try. But you're stronger. I love you all. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Create. Feel free to check out my membership programs for more in-depth readings. Check out my Butterfly School of Transformation if you're in a space of transforming. I'm into a next level within just life and development. We have a lot of content back there. Um, and then this semester, we're adding in new content and collaboration and work sessions and, you know, accountability, all of that jazz. So definitely check it out. Um, I love you all. And whatever you do, my darling, this is the season of clearing our minds. It's for the clarity. Love you all. I'll see you later.